Hello everyone and welcome to the topic of RAN Intelligent Controller RIC. In this we are going to discuss about controller RIC. So principle of ORAN architecture is basically to extend the SDN concept of decoupling control plane from user plane into RAN by bringing in the embedded intelligence. This basically extend this split uh, CPUP split of the CU and it is being developed with 3GPP through the E1 interface. And also it enhances the traditional RRM function with embedded intelligence because it introduced the hierarchical RIC with E1 and E2 interfaces. The decoupling benefit is to allow the user plane to get into more standardized since most of the variability is in the control plane. So the another benefit of decoupling is to allow for advanced control functionality which delivers the increased efficiency and better RRM. So RAN virtualization is also like RAN cloudification is one of the fundamental tenets of the ORAN architecture. So operators are developing NFVI VIM requirements so that they can enhance virtualization platforms in support of various splits. This alliance will leverage and verify the performance of open source communities. We have number of open source communities like OP, NFV, ONAP, Acrino, KA, 8S and OpenStack etc. The ORAN reference architecture is built on a set of key interfaces between multiple decoupled RAN components. Interfaces F1, W1, uh, E1, X2, X10, XN are for multi-vendor interoperability. ORAN aligns specified interfaces like open front hall interface between DU and RRU, E2 interface and A1 interface. The white box hardware like ORAN Alliance reference design, they will set, set, uh, specify high performance, uh, specify high performance, spectral and energy efficient white box base station hardware. Uh, reference platform support a decoupled approach and they offer um, details schematics for hardware and software architecture so that they can enable both VBU and RRU. Open source software is also there. It understand the value and support the goal and objectives of such communities. Many companies will be delivered as open source through existing communities. These companies include our RAN Intelligent Controller Protocol Components. Sorry, their components are Protocol Stack, Physical Layer Processing and Virtualization Platform. Or an open source software platform, they will not implement the de facto interfaces only but they in uh, like F1, W1, E1, E2, XN and XN interfaces. A also expect to offer the design for next generation radio resource management and it is having embedded intelligence so that they can enable the RIC. This is the reference architecture for the open RAN. It has uh, like we can see here the orchestration and automation own app Mano and MS they are connected with the radio network information base with the help of A1 interface. We can see here that RAN intelligent controller non-RT is connected with the near RT with the help of A1 interface. Now E1 interface between CUCP and CUUP. E2 interface is between the ODU and your RIB. So then open front hall is between the ODU and ORD. The ORAN architecture is de designed basically to enable next generation RAN infrastructure. It is well defined, um, standardized interfaces so that they can be open and supply chain ecosystem in support of and complementary to standards promoted by 3GPP. RIC NRT layer, non-RT control functionality which is greater than one second and near RT control function less than one second, they are coupled in this RIC. They include service and policy management, analytics, model training also. A1 is the interface between orchestration and containing RIC and E node B or G node B containing RIC near RT. Uh, the own and reference architecture provide next generation RRM with embedded intelligence also. So while optionally accommodating legacy RRM. RIC near RT is completely compatible with the legacy RRM and begins by enhancing functions like load balancing, radio, resource block management. 
it delivers a robust, secure and scalable platform also. RIC near RT delivers a robust uh, like for flexible onboarding of applications. It leverages a database called RIB which captures the near real-time state of underlying network by E2. Thank you.